2D mammography is what we have traditionally done at Sydney Regional Medical Center for oh, over the last decade. 2D mammography, I guess, is, is kind of the gold standard. Um, and what happens is the breast tissue is compressed together and x-rays are obtained. So you'll end up with a handful of images, maybe five, six, or seven images. With those 2D mammography images, all of the tissues are overlapping each other. So the single x-ray that you look at has all of the different densities of tissue, um, whether it's fatty tissue or fibrous tissue, um, overlapped on top of each other. And that's fine. Like I said, that's the standard and um, that's perfectly diagnostic. The only downside to that type of imaging is that sometimes it's difficult for the radiologist, that's the doctor who reads the mammograms, sometimes it's difficult for the radiologist to figure out exactly what's going on inside that breast tissue. So with all of those things overlapping each other, it can become difficult to tell if what they're looking at is fibrous tissue or a calcification or maybe a small mass or lesion. So that's where the 3D mammography comes in. The 3D mammography allows the technologist to create images which essentially show slices of breast tissue. So instead of having everything overlapped on top of each other, you can actually see different depths of the breast tissue. And that allows the radiologist a chance to um, suce out better detect what is going on. It's much easier for the radiologist at that point to say, oh yeah, that's fatty tissue or scar. And also for the radiologist to say, ooh, that looks like it might be a mass or a lesion. So um, 3D mammography is about 40% um, better at detecting early breast cancer than standard 2D. So that's great, that's amazing. Better detection, earlier detection. The other wonderful thing about 3D mammography is because the radiologist can go through and again, look at those tissues and decide, oh, that's just fat, then that means that patient doesn't have to get called back for more imaging. With the 2D mammography, the patient would have to come back so that the radiologist um, could ask for different views and probably the addition of an ultrasound too. Um, now, don't get me wrong, with 3D mammography, there are still going to be callbacks. Um, we'll never totally eliminate that. But definitely callbacks, we'll, we'll have a, a much lower rate of callbacks and also, like I said, earlier detection. One other thing to consider with a 3D mammography, because it is a newer, more cutting edge procedure, sometimes there are some insurance plans that won't cover the 3D. Um, so the patient might have a small out-of-pocket expense that they would pay. But when making that determination or considering paying that out-of-pocket expense, it's important to remember that if you pay for the 3D, if you have to, if your insurance doesn't cover it and you have to pay for the 3D, that might prevent you from having to have a callback exam. So if you do the 2D and the radiologist doesn't get enough information, they're gonna call you back for further imaging. They're probably gonna call you back for an ultrasound and those costs can add up as well. So with the 3D, if you have a lower callback rate, then that means that that patient um, hopefully won't have to come back and pay for the ultrasound and the additional imaging. And the other thing, and I, I know I already said this, but I can't stress it enough, a small out-of-pocket expense, but yet the 3D mammography um, is up to 40% better at detecting cancer. So a small out-of-pocket expense is nothing um, when it comes to early detection. Well, that's a great question. And since you said it, let's not forget that men can get breast cancer too. In fact, we here at Sydney Regional Medical Center perform mammograms on male patients. But back to your question. Uh, let's take my wife as an example. When it's time for her screening mammogram, the first thing that we will do is check with our insurance company and ask them if the 3D component of a screening mammogram is covered. And if the insurance company says it's covered, then I don't have any worries and that's an easy answer. Of course we'll do it. If the insurance company says no, the 3D component of a screening mammo isn't covered, 
I would still tell my family member to go ahead with the 3D mammography. To me, the cost of early detection is insignificant compared to the cost of missing a diagnosis of breast cancer.